Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Or if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. Hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have earned your like and subscribe. Uh, that's all I can say. So, I know what you're here for. You're here for the best 1080 60 FPS settings there is. Well, we're going to get to that. But first, let's just know that everybody's best settings is going to be slightly different right because you've especially when it comes to the encoding you've got cbr you've got vbr you've got cqp listen i'm going to give you a list of settings to start with it is going to be up to you the individual to continue to adjust them now i'll give you the list and i'll give you what to adjust why and how and how it will affect the other but it's going to be up to you there's no one out there that can give you a perfect this is what you use because they're all going to be a little bit different depending on your computer. So let's jump into it. All right. So let's walk over this step by step for the most part. Um, go to output recording type. You want to be standard. Recording path is going to be wherever you typically record to. Um, it doesn't matter. You create your own folder or just let OBS choose it. Recording format is going to be MP4. Um, you can you can record an MKV or FLV if you want to. It's not necessary and typically, well, let's say that. If you're watching this video to kind of learn these settings, MP4 is going to be just fine for you. That's what I record in. You know, if you're, if you're looking to do like professional kind of stuff, sure, maybe and you can remux it over. But um, I, I mean, MP4 is fine. Really, MP4 is fine. It's, it's going to be just fine for you. The only the only bad thing would be if your computer crashed mid recording, then you wouldn't have your recording. But that's that's going to be okay. So MP4 is going to be fine for you. Encoder NVENC H.264. If you're running a 1080 Ti or newer, I would really suggest the H.264. Um, if you're running something older than like a 1080 Ti, I would use your X.264 settings. Um, and that way you can use your CPU, CPU to do your recording and your graphics card to do your graphicking. You know what I mean? Don't take resources away from your graphics card, which is you know, probably, depending on what you're playing, right? It's probably still kind of struggling to, to, to really keep up with the newer games if you're running something over that. I know I just switched from a 1050 Ti and it was, well, it was, it was, it, it 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 was hanging in there it was hanging in there but in my 1050 ti i used x264 it just gave me the the best the best recording call best recording quality um you know if you're running a 20 series card switch to you know invink uh rescale output don't worry about it this is for 1080 ti uh or 1080 1080p oh rate control Oh, rate control. This is where you're going to get into a lot of videos where people are just going to have copied video and they're just going to say, yeah, this is the best. This is the best. This is the best. And they're really not going to have done a whole lot of research. Now, there are some guys out there who were, whew, man, they are smart when it comes to uh, video settings. And this video is, is not, uh, I'm not here to break down in specific depth what each of these does but i'm going to give you a very rough overall a rough overall picture so cbr constant bit rate i constantly record at a, at a bit rate of thirty-five thousand, right which means that whether my camera is sitting still and Let's, say, let's just say let's just say i'm playing call of duty right so whether let's say i'm playing call of duty and i'm staring at a screen i'm not moving i've got my rifle pulled up and i can see things moving around but i'm not moving right i'm going to record at thirty-five thousand. if my character starts running i'm still going to record at thirty-five thousand. so the more motion there is in the game the less finer detail it's going to pick up minutely but still not quite as much because you're still recording at the same bit rate. Now, if you switch to um, VBR, right? 
it's going to record based off of essentially how much motion is in the game so the more that's going on it's gonna record a little bit more um and the same goes for like cqp 10 or cqp right um cqp if you're sitting still and you're not doing anything it's recording i don't know the specifics and the technicalities so i am not going to give them to you if you really want to learn like the technicals of it please look it up i hate giving misinformation i really do so i'm not i'm just gonna kind of share enough with you to potentially pique your curiosity to want to learn more right so cqp if you're sitting there and you're you're sniping and you're looking up at the building you know and you're not moving right you're, you're hardly recording anything because this is still frame so there's not a lot of data change to be recorded right so you start moving though let's say you you switch from your your sniper and you pull out your pistol and you're you're running right you're running and you know whatever it your 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 game is producing more data and cqp is keeping up with all that so in high motion games if you run cqp 10 you're gonna end up with a huge huge file size um and it's just because it's it's picking up the data rate for what you're recording now if you're playing uh if you're playing solitaire right by all means record in cqp because there's not a whole lot of motion it's mostly still screen you're not going to use a lot of data. I would really recommend. Okay, personally, I record in CBR, right? CBR 35,000. You can see it yourself. Max quality, profile high. Check look ahead, check psychovisual tuning. GPU is zero unless you have two of them, right? Because then you're going to set one as your encoder and you're going to set the other one for your video games. Max B frames of four. Max B frames of four. So that's that's what I you can see this you I mean you you see it right um I think for most situations you are going to be fine running CBR 35000 right you're you're going to be fine now maybe you're playing some super crazy super crazy fast paced like super fast paced game I don't know um I don't know. Pick one. Super, super fast pace. Maybe, maybe you want to switch to VBR, right? To make sure you don't have as much blur going on. Um, if you really want, you can switch to CQP, but you're going to have a huge file size. If that doesn't matter to you, if you don't care about file size and you've got you a secondary machine with a freaking, you know, 20 terabytes of storage in it and you've got a Ryzen Threadripper in that bad boy and you don't care to encode a massive file size, by all means, dude, do it, do it. But for the most part, you're really going to be okay running CBR 35,000. VBR, if you really want to, um, you can set your, your min-max at like 60 and 100,000. Um, but for the most part, you're, you're really going to get good quality images from CBR 35,000. Um, if you really disagree with that, you know, by all means, feel free to put that in the comments and we'll talk about it. Um, but the average person playing the average game, you know, putting up videos that, that that's looking at this kind of video, you're really gonna be all right with CBR 35,000. Um, if not, switch to VBR 6,100 or 60,100,000, sorry. <clears throat> all right. Let's jump on over to video. Um, you're watching this for 1080, so you're probably running a 1080 monitor, and you're not too worried about downscaling. However, if let's say you have a 1440 monitor and you want to record and upload in 1080, make sure you have your native resolution or your base resolution set at 1080. And or I'm sorry, if you have a 1440 monitor, your base resolution would be 1440, and your downscale would be 1080 right and then your downscale filter is either going to be Linksos, bilinear by cubic so the difference between Linksos and bilinear is is more so to do with sharpness 
and smoothness really and depending on the game you're playing and i i hate keep I hate to keep kind of giving these answers, but these are the real answers, right? They're, like I said, there's no one size fits all and there's too many people out there that try to give you a one size fits all answer because they want to appease as many people as they can. I, I, you, you're going to have to play around between Linksos and Bilinear and Bicubic. Some games, when you're downscaling, you're going to get a much better picture with Linksos and some you're going to get a much better picture with Bilinear or Bicubic. It just, it's really going to be dependent upon the game you're playing and once again, the components that you have in your computer, right? Um, yeah, so really, it just, it just, it's going to depend. It really is going to depend. Or if you're scale, downscaling from 1080 to 720, it's going to be the same way. You know, <clears throat> if, if you're recording videos, you're going to record some test videos, right? Just take the time to set up, you know, record 30 seconds of whatever game. Let's say you play Call of Duty or you play Valorant or you play, you know, Counter-Strike or you play whatever the game it is you play. Sit down, record 30 seconds in, in Linksos, record 30 seconds in Bilinear, record 30 seconds in Bicubic and see which one looks the best, right? Jump into a deathmatch or, or whatever and, and tinker with these settings a little bit. And it, it just, it's really whatever's best is what looks best to you, right? Because some are going to be a little bit smoother. Some are going to be a little bit sharper. It's going to depend, right? But start with Linksos and, and see what happens. You know what I mean? Finally, advanced. Really, the only thing you're, oops. Really, the only thing you're changing here is going to be your color space in your color range, right? Make sure your color range is set to full and your color space is set to 709. Having a greatest game in the world and the greatest computer in the world and the greatest settings in the world isn't all that great if you don't have full color scales. So change your change your color to 709 and your in your color range to full. And uh, really, I um I think that's going to I think that's going to cover it all. Uh, quick tip, audio, you can change it to 320. It's probably going to sound a little bit better than, you know, the default of 160. Um, yeah. Uh, once again, I mean, you, you can change it. Don't ever use lossless. Dear Jesus, do not use lossless. I'm sorry if you're religious. My apology, but do not use lossless. I mean, you, you're talking about having a water bottle. You're talking about having a massive file size, like massive file size. I mean, if you, like I said, if you've got a server room in your house and you've got, you know, a Threadripper computer and you're, you don't care, okay, fine. But you, with lossless, you're gonna have massive file sizes. So Really, I would I would stick between VBR and CBR um, unless you're recording maybe like 30 seconds of a, a video, you know, and then CQP, um, you'll get the optimal whatever. But test them all, right? Test them all, and that's going to be what determines the best settings for you. Um, CQP, if you're recording a very short video, <coughs> excuse me. CQP, if you're recording a very short video, short video. Give it a go and see what happens, you know, but if you're if you're recording like a, a 20, 30 minute long video or a 15 minute long video, really probably stay away from it because you're going to have a really huge file size, which is going to increase your encoding time, which is going to increase your upload time or a visual quality that's really not going to be much different. I mean, it's just not you're just you're just not going to see that much of a difference. It's it's really it's not your two biggest your two biggest players here are going to be VBR and CBR, okay. So like I said, I've recorded this like fifteen times trying to figure out how best to explain this without stepping on some toes or hurting some feelings or you know trying to start a war of who's right and who's wrong. There really isn't a right and wrong. Um. You know, give CBR 35,000 a go. Watch your videos. If there's too much motion and it looks a little bit blurry, switch it to VBR 60,000 60, to 100,000 or, you know, 40,000 to 60,000. Look up the different, you know, the different numbers and, and play with those two. I know you came to this video for advice on how the best settings are and I'm giving it to you, right? You've, 
The best settings are tailored to your computer, and the only person that can do that is going to be you. Okay, so I want to teach you how to do it so in the future you don't have to jump back to YouTube or wherever to figure out, you know, what's what. So um this video has probably gotten a whole lot longer than I wanted it to be. And um yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and end it here. Thanks for watching. Um I, I appreciate it. If you're still hanging out here, I, I appreciate you watching the whole time. Um if you would, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, if you had some knowledge reaffirmed, hit that sub button and hit that like button and let me know, you know, let me know you liked it. So thanks you all for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.